All right, so what is up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create an elastic effect for buttons and card views. So essentially this can actually work on any view. All you have to do is place it inside this uh, wrapper and when you click on it, you'll get this very nice elastical effect on the card. And it's also really nice if you wanna make a round button. It's very simple. It has the same effect and looks great. So that's what we will be making in this tutorial and we can get started immediately by checking out the dependency. So you can actually find the project on GitHub. I have my personal project in case you want to clone that. Otherwise, I will leave the link to the dependency in the description below. And as you can see, it's just an elastic view. Once you scroll down, you should be able to find the Gradle dependency, which is this one over here. So you're just gonna want to copy that and go to our build.gradle file. and paste it under here. And also this is completely optional, but I'm going to include the view binding features because I will be using view binding. And after having added the dependency, we can go ahead and click on sync now. Then we can close this Gradle file and open our res file and go to our layout and click on activity main XML. Click on split view and change this to a relative layout. Then let's delete this text view because we will start from scratch. And the first thing you want to do is find the IO elastic view, elastic view view and give it a width of 300 dp or whatever you want and a height of 200 dp. I'm gonna center it in the parent and set that to true. I'm gonna give it an ID of elastic card and then we're gonna give it a corner radius of 10 dp, a card elevation of five dp and we're gonna give it a flexibility level of five. And this can vary between zero and 10. So if you want a lot of flexibility, put it to 10, otherwise put it to one if you want very minimal flexibility. And if you put more than 10, your program will not compile. So keep that in mind. Then inside, we're just going to place a text view and it's going to have wrap content and wrap content for the width and height. Then we should set the gravity to the center and give it a text of random text. Text color is going to be Android black or color black. Then we'll also give it a text size of 20 SP. And I actually meant to write layout underscore gravity instead of just gravity, which will place it in the center of the card view. Then let's do control alt plus L to tidy this up. And we're gonna close the text view. Then we can go ahead and just copy this and place it right under. We're gonna change the ID to button one and we're gonna write below elastic card. Now we can set this to wrap content, wrap content, and then we have to give it a layout margin of 20 dp, a card background color of whatever color you want. This time we can actually do red. And we're just gonna give it a flexibility of 10 because why not? And we're also going to increase the corner radius to 40 dp. And then for the text view, we need to change the color to white. So just go over the black and type in white and give it a layout margin of 16 dp. So you'll have a really nice button. It's essentially a card view, but I changed it into a button. Then let's just format that. And as you can see, when the program loads, you will have these card views that actually move when you click on them. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and change it to light mode and give these buttons some function. So it looks a lot better, just like the previous example. So let's go to the main activity for this. And the first thing we have to do is create a binding variable. So late in it var binding of type activity main binding. Then right below binding is equal to activity main binding dot inflate layout inflator. Then all we have to do is return binding dot root. Then call app delegate dot set default night mode app compat delegate mode night no. Now we can actually just type in binding and get our views. So button one will be the first one and set it on click listener. We'll create a toast. We'll take application context as the context and we'll type in button pressed. Now we can just copy this and paste it immediately under and change it to the elastic card view. And here we'll just type in card view pressed. Then we can rerun our program. And this time we will have a light layout. So we can click on our card view and you'll see as soon as we click on it, we'll have the animation, plus we will have a toast at the bottom. 
And if you hold down and drag, you'll see it will look completely 3D. So I think it's a really cool dependency to add to some projects if you want to really give them a nice finishing touch or make it just look a lot more interactive to the user. But with that being said, that's actually all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.